Savvy Rider implemented new technology to modify his 2015 GL1800 Honda Goldwing. That Goldwing later became known as Black Flash, an extreme lighting show bike. What's going on YouTube? This is Cornell, your tech savvy rider. It's about 5.15 Thursday. I'm just leaving out of Clinton, Oklahoma. I had to come back down here because my co-worker still haven't recovered from breaking his foot. And um, I checked up on the weather before I left out. Uh, between here and making it back to Lawton, it's supposed to be about 10 to 20 percent chance of rain. So I'm guessing I might get caught in a little, a little wet, uh, a little rain. Yeah, it's all good though. It's been hot all day. I got the trailer with me, Black Flash 2. I said I wasn't, the minute that um, I finished with all the installation and uh, getting it on, um, all the wires, I got it programmed so it can match up with the bike. After I got done with everything, I said I was not going to take it back off the bike until I at least put at least 500 miles on it. Uh, running back and forth for the last week or so um, I think I hit about 350 by the time that this little trip that I'm making a day running to and back from from uh, Clinton Oklahoma I'm pretty sure um, I don't I, I would have reached my 500 mile marker on, on the trailer I just uh, that was just a preset I put on myself uh, to get used to the trailer, how it feel, uh, what to expect when I'm, you know, uh, running around the curves and leaning. The whole nine yards, I said 500 miles would be a good break-in point for me. Uh, if I don't understand how this joker operate by that time, something is wrong with me. So, <laughs> I pretty, pretty much got used to it now. I said a backing up procedure is uh, it's a lot like when I used to uh, drive in the military as an 88 Mike truck driver. I said a trailer backup procedure is still the same. It's just that I'm on a bike now. I wanted to talk to y'all about some things, man. Um, I don't know. It's just some things that's been on my mind. You know, see how y'all feel about um, about riding with other people. Um, have y'all been out riding, enjoying the roads with friends? You know, I've been preaching that all along. Get out and find you somebody to ride with and have a good time for the summer. It seems like no matter how hard I try, man, I just, my time schedule just don't match up with other people. 
and uh, it's, it's hard for me to get on the road and uh, enjoy the road with you know other riders, man. So I'm always motor logging, talking to myself, trying to create a video. And uh, it's just a shout out to all the people that's uh, near me or close to me. Uh, hey, man, like I said, you know, if y'all ever want to ride, just just holler at me. Uh, shoot me an email, hit me up on Facebook or uh, or YouTube, send a message to me. You know, I'm more than uh, willing to get out and ride with you, man. You know, so let's get out and do it and enjoy the summer. I wanted to get out today and ride my bike uh, for the simple fact uh, all next week is due to rain. Uh, starting uh, starting tonight, actually, it's going to be raining for the next week, in, about the next week or so. You know, 10% here, 20% there, uh, full 80, uh, 70 and 80% by the middle of the next week. So I felt that today was the only time I was going to have a chance to get out and ride. I also noticed that a lot of people are starting a moto log now. Uh, and I, I wish you all the best. But it seems like um, we're not getting as many uh, uh, many views as, as as we used to for as the YouTube channels. You know, uh, the dislikes on the channel, of course, I know they're going to go up. Uh, as more people subscribe to you, more people... Uh, checking out the channel and they either don't like it you know who cares uh, to me this is all all in good fun I say stuff and say stuff backwards on purpose uh, <laughs> my English I speak perfectly good English when I want to uh, but my country grammar is it's how I was born and raised so I'm, I stick to it you know I have people talking about, uh, hey, you can't talk. <laughs> so that's fine with me, too. Um, the biggest thing, man, I'm starting to find out a lot of people are getting annoyed about me riding my motorcycle on how I be changing my gears. And that's, that's what's tripping me out because I do it on purpose just to hear my pipes. And I give people, you know, some of the lame excuse about me, you know, changing the gears and stuff like that. You know, but if they've been following me all along, they all they they should understand that I had put out a video explaining to everybody that I cannot hear. Uh, I cannot hear, period. Uh, out of one of uh, out of my left ear, and my right ear, you know, is where I taking all my feedback from people talking to me, reading your lips and all this good stuff. And when I'm on my bike, I can feel my bike rumbling, but I really can't hear it unless I throttle. You know, I hear my I hit my throttle. So sometimes I double up on, on on my clutch. On my clutching when I throttle, I mean where my throttle when I clutch. And uh, I do it like a double take, you know, like and then I changed the gears. You know, that's just me, you know, because I enjoy hearing the pipes because the noise and the rambling, when you put them together, it just feels good. And I be messing with people about it, you know, about changing gears and stuff, but I see that it's starting to uh, uh, annoy a lot of people. Hey, guys, you know, I look at it like this. You know, I, I take in y'all criticism and I listen to what y'all have to say and you know, I pretend like I don't know what I'm doing, but I do it on purpose. For the simple fact, hey, now let's be honest, it's my motorcycle. <laughs> I ride it the way I want them. <laughs> so if I enjoy thrusting the throttle, turning the throttle, double shifting, you know, just so I can hear my pipes when I'm up shifting, hey, it's me. You know, uh, I'm not saying that I, I don't listen to what you're saying. Uh, but and I appreciate you all comment for being so, you know, uh, uh, bringing it up as a point of view about how I ride my motorcycle. Uh, but like I said, you already answered your question. It's how I ride my motorcycle. So you know, hey, it's me. 
It's just something I like doing. There's no general, real reason why I do it. Except other than that, I just like to hear the pipes. Now, I do have a problem with second gear from time to time when I'm high shift, when I'm uh, speed shifting and I'm trying to run, you know, from first all the way to fifth. And sometimes when I shift, second gear will, wants to tend to do a wheelie on me. So I try to kick out of second gear as soon as possible. Uh, so that is true when I said that. But other than that, me riding my motorcycle, me talking to you guys, you know, I enjoy doing it. Uh, I enjoy working on it on, on my bike as I've been explaining to you all in my previous videos. And I'm looking forward to meeting uh, a lot of you guys uh, during the uh, Wing Ding 39 because I think that's probably going to be the only time the remaining of this year that I will actually have to uh, be able to take some time off and I want to enjoy it you know I want to meet the people that I've been talking to uh, meet some people once I get out there and, and have a good time man you know but uh, it was just a lot of stuff going through my mind and I appreciate all the new subscribers hey you talk to me you dislike my videos whatever you know I'm just glad you know, you all are at least taking the time out to say, hey, I don't like you. You suck. Uh, you need to learn how to ride your motorcycle. Hey, I laugh at all that stuff, man. Uh, <laughs> I really do. Uh, but it, it, it shows me that you all really do uh, pay attention out there. So I, I, I'm going to try my best to be careful of what I say. Uh, you know, to uh, maintain a, a, a decent level of communication between you all. You know, when somebody bring up uh, something and they bring up a good valid, you know, a valid point, I, I take it in consideration and listen to what they got to say because, you know, not, not uh, one man don't know everything. You, you, you see what I'm saying? So when someone bring up a point of view or a better way to do something, I take it in consideration. It's like, hey, yeah, you know, he gave me an idea. I might not use the idea that you gave me exactly how you told me, but you did give me an idea on what to do. And I, I really appreciate that. So this is for my 500 mile, I mean not 500 mile, my 500 subscriber mark uh, that I just reached. I'm saying thank you to everyone that has subscribed. I really appreciate it. Uh, continue. Uh, to you know, uh, chat with me, meet me on Facebook, uh, hit me up on Messenger. You know, a, a lot of people been hitting me up, asking me how to do certain things, and they'll ask a question, and I give them some ideas on what to do, and I don't hear from them, so I don't know if you know what I did or what I said for your work. You know, hey, if you ask for some help and I give it to you, some advice on what I did. Let me know if it worked for you, man, because uh, don't leave me hanging. You know, let me know what you thought about it, how it worked out for you. You know, All the ideas I put out there is for, I tell everybody, this is how I did it. This is not the way to do it. This is how I did it. You know, those type of videos, I put them out all the time, you know. And uh, some people are thankful that, I, you know, I take the time out to do stuff like that. And some, you know... Uh, like my uh, part one, part two, uh, the rolling eyes for Black Flash and Black Flash 2. You know, I took the time out to create those videos just to show you all, you know, hey, this is what I do. I, I like doing this. Uh, but, you know, I wasn't going to put out every little detail on what I'm entering in, into the contest. Come on. You know, I don't want somebody to take my very own video and see how I'm going to enter the contest and take my own video and outdo me. <laughs> you know, I said, I'm not in it to win it, but you know, we, that's a lie. That is a lie. I'm out to win it. If I'm going to do something, I'm going for the whole thing. And I want to be careful that I'm not putting every little thing or every little trick that I got up my sleeve. Uh, on video or uh, on YouTube for somebody to go check out and say, oh, well, I know he's going to do this, so let me do that, you know. 
so you know i probably got a couple of dislikes on those videos uh hey <laughs> like youtube said <laughs> it, it still counts so it don't it doesn't bother me but i do appreciate it if you would you know if you do dislike a video you know, i can't say man up because i don't know if it's a man or a woman that's doing it or some you know some kids all i'm saying if you do dislike the video leave a comment saying hey i didn't like this video because you know, you're doing this, you're doing that. Help me improve on making quality videos for you to watch. You know, it, this is a two-way uh, two uh, communication here. I, I'm creating videos, putting it out, showing y'all how I do stuff, the way I'm doing it. And, I, you know, you all give me your feedback. But at the same time, you know, instead of disliking the video, like I've been saying all along, tell me what's wrong so I can work on it. Help me, help you, help me make a better, better, a better video, you know. And a better video is going to be something that's going to be entertaining to you. So if I'm doing something that you don't like, please let me know so I can fix it. Uh, I can't, you know, uh, satisfy everybody. That's not my goal. But if you are the ones that are leaving dislikes on the video, you know, I probably, as soon as I said that, somebody clicked on the dislike on the video. You know, all I'm saying is once you do it, leave a comment on why you did it. So to help me improve the video what, you know, that I'm making or that, that I'm uh, uploading to YouTube, help me. And uh, I continue to keep trying to, to entertain you all on all the stuff that goes on with me when I'm out riding my bike. And uh, But hey, you know, I don't know if I'm putting stuff out that you want to watch or listen to if you're not telling me. Hi right, YouTube, that's my little spiel for the day. I just wanted to share with you all some, uh, what was on my mind. Again, thank you to the 500 plus subscribers. Uh, I really appreciate it. My channel is starting to grow. Uh, I'm not publishing as much videos as I would like because I'm still very busy and I'm hoping it'll slow down uh, around the uh, August, September time frame when Wing Dean come up and I have plenty of videos to to upload and share with you all. Um, so just hang in there with me. Let me know what's on your mind. And uh, hopefully I'll see y'all down there in Wing Dean 39 and go see, eat some uh, good barbecue and hang out with uh, Brother Cowboy, Chris Caliente, Memphis Mike. Uh, and I their entourage or who they be riding with i'm looking forward to meeting all those guys man um, i think they're uh, a great bunch of guys don't know them personally but i'm looking forward to at least introducing myself to them and you know i'm looking forward to that man because hey, it's 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 the time where it's time to get out and just go have a good time that's all i'm trying to do uh, now, hey YouTube, that's my spiel for the day. I'm heading back home uh, from Clinton to Lawton. I mean, from uh, from Clinton to Lawton, trying to beat the rainstorm that's due to come in within the next hour. Other than that, that's my spiel for the day, YouTube. Y'all have a good one.